starting. Okay, we can see. Okay, so we are live now. Hello and uh, welcome everyone for the latest session of uh, Tinkerpreneur 2022. We have with us our beloved mentor, uh, Kiran sir, along with uh, his three students, uh, Shima, Polastya, and Meghna. They will be taking you through a session on understanding the business finance. And the three students will be sharing their experiences. We hope that you are able to learn from sir and their three students. And over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Pratik. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Good evening, everyone. Uh, uh, we are very happy to be back again with uh, a few more Tinkerpreneurs this week as well. This is our fifth week, and uh, the topic of today's uh, session is on business finance. Um, so we are going to run you through uh, some of the business finance concepts today. Uh, we will um, basically have our Tinkerpreneurs also showcase a few demos. Uh, first and foremost, we have uh, a demo by um, uh, Meghna. Uh, Meghna Dodipule is a class 7 student from Harvest International School in Bangalore. She is going to show you how you can manage your business accounts uh, using a simple mobile app. Uh, it makes it very simple to get started with your business finance, business accounting journey. And then we also have uh, Shima Farheen. Uh, she is a class 8 student from uh, Nagarjuna Model School, Kadapa in Andhra Pradesh. And uh, what we want to do today is, uh, let me just back up a bit and tell you uh, uh, the agenda for today. So one part is on uh, showing you uh, something about business finance. I will also be giving you a short introduction, then Meghna will also be doing a demo on business finance. And then last week, we didn't have some time, uh, time to cover the marketing uh, campaign part of uh, the demos. So today we will have Shima and uh, Paula Astia, um, two other Tinkerpreneurs. They will be showing you something about marketing campaign, which we missed last week. Okay, so Shima uh, um, from Nagarjuna Model School, Kadapa and Andhra Pradesh, she's going to show you a demo of um, uh, how to create a spin wheel uh, marketing campaign game uh, and have fun in engaging your customers. And Paula Astia, he is, uh, again, a class nine student from um, Jilla Panchayat School in Jalpaiguri, West Bengal. He is going to show you a demo of um, how to create marketing merchandise. So these two students together will show you the merchandise. Uh, but before we get started, um, let me just ask them to say hi to you. Uh, so Meghna, can we start from you? You want to say hi to our audience? Hello, everyone. I'm Meghna. Uh, and Shima. Hey everyone, this is Sheikh Shima Farheen. And uh, Paula Astia. Hello everyone, I'm Paula Astia Chakraborty. Uh, Paula Astia, uh, keep your video on. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Thank you everyone for introducing yourself. So let's get started. Uh, get started with today's session. Um, so basically, I'm going to, even though the topic of uh, today's session says business finance modeling. Uh, what we will be predominantly covering is one part of it, or I would say it's, it's mainly about business accounting is what we're going to talk about. Is because business accounting is something which is uh, fundamental for any entrepreneur or entrepreneurs just getting started with their uh, uh, business or entrepreneurship journey. Okay, so you need to understand the basics first. And then business finance is a slightly broader topic, which uh, covers everything about the art, uh, art, art of managing money, running uh, your business, using money and things like that. Um, it, it involves um, the long term and uh, things of managing your business. But business accounting is predominantly focused on uh, uh, gathering uh, information, gathering data, uh, collecting data about your day-to-day -day transactions of your business, money coming in, money going out and things like that. So we're going to focus more on that. And I'm going to touch upon a very slight, small portion on the finance modeling as well. Um, so that said, so having set that context, let me bring up my slides and then we will get started. So I'm 
just sharing my screen. Uh, uh, hope you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, just give me one second. Okay, so I, I guess the screen is now visible and let's get started. So as I said, business accounting is what we are going to talk about. Uh, to uh, set the context so far in this bootcamp, you have uh, built your digital product, you have refined it, then you have come up with a business model canvas, which was like a roadmap to uh, start your business and run your business. And then last week you learned about marketing your product, how to promote your product and things like these. Uh, but where do you go next, right? So having built your product, having marketed your product, let's say you have some customers ready to uh, buy your product as well. So maybe you uh, customers start approaching you, they get to know that you have a product to sell and they're interested and they start buying product from you. And then uh, what happens is you make a sale. Okay, when you make a sale, basically what happens? You give your product to your customers and the customer pays you money, right? So money starts coming into you, your pocket or you to your business or to your bank account. So now it is important that you learn how to manage the money that is coming in uh, to your business or maybe you're also spending some little money to run your business itself. So money is coming into your business when you sell your products and services at the same time money is going out when you spend uh, some money on running your business, some expenses and things like that. So you need to be aware of um, how to track these kind of things. For example, when you uh, when you start making money, uh, do you know how much money is your business making at any point in time or in a specific month? So are you aware of how much money your business is making or how much uh, money I'm spending on my business? Are you aware of this? Or is do you know whether your business is profitable or whether it is running under loss? Or do you know how much money you, you owe your, uh, your customers owe you? Maybe sometimes the customer has not paid all the money. They have bought your products, but maybe they have not uh, paid all the money. Do you know how much money the customers owe you? Or maybe sometimes you have bought something from your suppliers, but you have not paid the full amount. So you need to uh, keep track of that as well. And uh, when customer pays or when you pay your suppliers or your vendors, you keep track of those things as well. And um, so uh, not only, uh, yeah, from the customers as well as from the suppliers, you need to keep track of all the money. And do you have sufficient money in your bank account to run your business operations? So do you keep track of these kind of things? And do you know what are your assets and liabilities? So I've talked about many terms here. It may be quite confusing for you, uh, but let's go one at a time, one simple thing at a time and try and understand some of the context, uh, concepts along with examples. And then later on, Megan is also going to show you a demo of how to manage all these things very easily. Even if you don't understand a lot about business accounts, you can still manage it with the help of a simple mobile app, okay? So this is where business accounting helps. If you want, you have, you have all these questions related to your business and you have started making money and you're spending money on your business, business accounting is the thing that helps you keep track of all your money, all the business transactions that you are doing, where you're selling things or you're spending money on certain things. You need to record all of them. You need to write down certain things or you need to use a mobile app, whatever, to uh, record all the transactions uh, that, uh, that is happening in your business and then you need to analyze the recorded information and then maybe you need to uh, even generate some reports in order to understand the financial health of your business this is what business accounting is all about okay so on a day-to-day -day, what is the money that you're spending what is the money that uh, you're earning all of these details have to be captured and who is going uh, uh, on what you're spending how much money you're spending or which customer has paid you money, which customer is yet to pay you money, all the details have to be captured. Otherwise, you'll lose track of your business and very soon you will not know where your money is going 
how much money you are earning you will not have any clue whatsoever and then sooner or later you may run into a loss you may lose all your money and you may have to close your business so that is why it's very important to keep track of everything so you need to be very systematic in business accounting now let's take an example of the ebooks based business that i have always been talking about all this week this is the ebook that i have created a trek to be a skund okay this is an ebook and around this ebook in order to sell this ebook i i, I even created a, a business if you remember interactive books private limited was the name of my um, uh, business and if you remember by the brand name that i have given to this business called expiry log okay last week i talked about expiry log as the brand name i even showed you the logo and things like that for this business that is in the business of selling ebooks let's look at how what are some of the basic things that you need to uh, track or account for in order to manage your business uh, finances okay so to do that let's understand a few basic things or a few basic uh, people that are involved in any business okay even though i'm talking about my uh, my business as an example you need to relate yourself similarly to your own business that you are planning to start so first and foremost is the business owner okay business owner is myself in my case i am also a think entrepreneur and entrepreneur and i own this business what is my business it is in the business of selling ebooks and making money out of selling this ebook but i also have customers my customers who are my customers they buy my ebooks and they pay me money okay so their customers are one of the entities that i interact with and i exchange my products with them and they give me give me money similarly there are suppliers or vendors these are other businesses or individuals or organizations with whom i do business with them for example if i need to buy certain things i go to the suppliers or vendors they supply me certain things and i make use of those supplies to run my business and build my products or market my products and sell uh, my ebooks to my customers so the vendors help me run my business in a indirect way okay so vendors and suppliers on one hand customers on the other hand and i am running the business in the center so this is the the, the they are we can consider them as the three entities who are mostly uh, uh, intertwined or we work together okay now let's look at some of the th key uh, transactions that can potentially happen between myself as a business owner and my supplier for example i need to purchase certain supplies to build my product uh, or services and for and which i need to offer my customers let's take the example that i need to buy a software tool many of you are very familiar with software tools online software tools and many of them are free but what if i want to buy a paid license uh, software okay then i go to the supplier and the supplier may be a software developer or somebody who is actually building a software product or a tool and i pay him let's say 2000 rupees and he supplies me the software tool and i buy the software license and then i pay him 2000 rupees and he receives the payment and he is happy and he goes away so this is one transaction that happens in my business these are basically purchases that i purchase or buy in order to build my uh, ebook for example if i were to create my ebook i need the software tool using the software tool whether it is canva or something else i need to uh, create my ebook right so for that i need the software tool and i need to pay money this is a purchase transaction similarly there are expenses okay i spend some money on running my business itself for example uh, in the case of my ebooks business i spend about 1000 rupees on marketing or i spend some money on buying stationary items like paper clips or pens and pencils and sheets of paper and things like this or i also spend uh, on telephone and internet charges so let's say i spend 500 rupees on that or maybe in your case you may have an office space on rent so you may have to pay rent you may have, if you have employees you may have to pay them salaries if you travel on business you need to spend money on travel so you will incur expenses in many things basically these are money that you are spending and you are giving this money to some supplier or some vendor and they supply you some essentials okay whether uh, they are employees or whether they are a landlord or whether they are like some travel agents or there may be marketing agencies whatever so 
you pay them money and they give you supply and the supplies can be uh, in any of these fashion so in my case also i pay them money and i, uh, uh, I these are basically my expenses expenses are money that i am spending in order to run my business okay so any business will have some money to spend in order to run their operation so similarly i also spend now let's look at the third term called revenue what is revenue basically when i uh, create an ebook and i want to sell this ebook there are customers who want to buy my ebook so i sell my ebook to my customers and the customer pays me money and i earn something called as a revenue okay revenue in simple terms is basically what i receive in return when i sell my products or services in my case i sell an ebook and i make some money let's say 5000 rupees simple right so you have heard about three terms purchases expenses and revenue now it so happens that sometimes the customers always don't pay you the money upfront for example if for my regular customers uh, i might give uh, i might sell them the my ebooks but i also give them the ebooks on loan or on credit what it means is the customer may not pay the full amount up upfront when he or she receives the ebook they may not pay all the money they may pay in installment for example take the case of let's say i have sold uh, books worth 5000 rupees to a customer and the customer maybe uh, gave me only 1250 rupees at the time of buying so what happened was the remaining amount is 3750 rupees this remaining amount is called accounts receivable or money that is still receivable from the customer that's what it means and in after one month the customer again pays 1250 rupees so in all i have received 2500 rupees but what is still remaining out of 5000 to 5000 rupees i have already received 2500 rupees and still 2500 rupees is remaining this is the receivable at the end of the second month third month it became another 1250 rupees came in from the customer what is left receivable 1250 rupees is left and finally by the end of the uh, fourth month or the third installment the customer has paid up the final installment and at this point in time the receivables has become zero so over a period of time i need to collect money from my customer and this is called whatever is still pending from the customer that is called receivable and i need to ensure that the receivables finally become zero otherwise the customer still owes me money and i have not received the money even though i have sold the product this is one new concept that you have learned similarly there is something called as payable what is payables basically some of my suppliers also give me some supplies on loan or credit so in which case i may also make some down payment initially or make some initial payment but then i also get to pay the remaining amount over a period of a few months let's take the example of the software tool that i purchased earlier it was worth 2000 rupees now initially when i purchased it i paid only 500 rupees to the supplier i didn't pay all the 2000 rupees so what is still pending 1500 rupees this is what is payable from my side to my supplier ah, when i pay the next installment of another 500 rupees what is still remaining 1000 rupees is still remaining and again in the second installment i pay another 500 rupees what is remaining 500 rupees is still remaining and finally when i pay off all the 2000 rupees by the end of third installment the payable has become zero so this is what payable means so ultimately you need to make sure that your suppliers are paid whatever is the due to them if you don't pay up they may not supply you uh, their supplies again to you okay you may get blacklisted so make sure that you pay your suppliers or vendors on time and as per the agreement okay so this is accounts now finally after doing all of these we can also check see whether our business is profitable or under loss how do we do it we need to see what is the money that we have made in this business for example by selling my products which are ebooks for 5000 rupees i have earned a revenue of 5000 rupees totally and i have spent money on purchases and expenses so for, for purchases basically i bought a software tool worth 2000 rupees and i have also spent money on expenses like marketing stationery telephone and internet all of them add up to 1600 rupees so if you see totally the money that has gone out of my business is 2000 rupees plus 1600 that is 3600 rupees and if you subtract this from 5000 rupees what is the money left that is 1400 rupees so at the end of the month my profit or whatever is remaining in my business is 1400 rupees 
So it's in a simple terms, this is how you would calculate uh, whether you uh, whether you are profitable or not. So, so I still have 1,400 rupees. You can consider this as my profit. Of course, there'll be other things like paying tax and other things. If you ignore all of those in simple terms, 1,400 rupees is what I have, okay? But in case you spend more money than your earning, then your business goes into loss. So you don't want to be under loss. So you need to earn more money and spend less money, then you become, you are profitable. That's what profit and loss is all about. And the second report that you need to be aware of in accounting is called cash flow statement. Cash flow statement means you need to keep track of that is money that is coming in and going out every month into your business and how much money is left as the balance at the end of every month. So in every month from January to March, in this scenario A that I'm talking about here, I'm earning some money and I'm also spending some money. But cash balance is always positive. There is still money left in my bank account. But in the second scenario that I have shown here, if you see what happens is between January and April, I have money in my bank balance. Money is coming in, I'm earning revenue and I'm spending on expenses, but still there is money left. But in May, if you see the cash balance has become low. Basically, I have not earned any revenue, but I'm spending money on expenses. So all the money is getting eaten up and I have become low. And in June, what is happening is I'm spending again more money and earning less. I have not earned any new money. So basically, I have, there's no money left in my bank account and I cannot pay my expenses. I cannot purchase anything new. And I've actually gone under probably more or less loss and I may not be able to run my business if this happens. So it's important that you keep your cash flow positive, okay? And the third and the last report is called a balance sheet. This report will tell you what are the assets and liabilities. Assets are basically what you own in your business. It is basically, it could be a, uh, the product, your, um, your patents and things like these, or uh, any equipment that you have, uh, if you have actually cash, land, all of these are assets. But liabilities are some things that you owe to other people. Maybe you still had to pay some money to your suppliers, or maybe you have taken some bank loan and you had to repay it. It's all liabilities you need to. Uh, so you need to keep track of your assets and liabilities. Okay, that is the balance sheet. So if you generate these reports, you will know what is the health of your business. And finally, I would also encourage you to create a financial model, or a, I wouldn't say it's exactly a financial model, at least a forecast of your revenues and purchases and expenses for month one to month 12 for next one year, you can see what is the projection that you want to make, what is the forecast or how much money you would like to make or what would be your purchases over the next 12 months or what would be your expenses over the next 12 months. And then if you actually put up a table like this, you will actually see what is your profit forecast also, whether you will be making money or whether you'll be losing money and things like that. So this is a simple model that you could create to see how your business is going to progress in the coming days and weeks and months. So to do all of these, you can use a simple app called um, Accounting Bookkeeping Invoice and Expense Inventory. This is an Android app that you can download from the Play Store and you can very easily put in all the data, sales related data, purchases, expenses, all of these data. When the customer pays, you can again put the data information on the app. Finally, the app will generate your profit and loss report, cash flow statement, balance sheet, all of these it can generate very easily. It's very simple to manage your business accounts and that's exactly what Megna is going to show you next. So the steps for you to do uh, is using this app is download the account, business accounting app, record your sales, purchase expense data in the app, record payments receivables and accounts payable in the app. I've already explained what these terms are and finally generate these reports and you can see how your business is doing at any point in time. That's it. So that's pretty much what I wanted to cover today. Uh, let me unshare my screen and let's go back to, um, how do I unshare my screen now? One second, give me a second. Don't see that unshare option. Uh, if you go uh, to the top, so uh, there are some buttons which come down. Oh, 
okay one sec okay now i got it now i got it. okay yeah i think my screen has been unshared now okay fantastic so i hope you uh, got a gist of what business accounting is uh, in a nutshell very simple concepts that i talked about now let me invite megan on to show you how to capture all this data and how to generate those account, business accounting reports uh, over to you megana i hope all of you can see my screen uh, yes megana good evening everyone i am megana dadapale i am a student of class 7 harvest international school bangalore business finance english please that is my first reaction. Too many terms and terminologies and what not yet. The mentoring sessions were definitely of help. But as entrepreneurs, we need to manage business finance and business finance all by ourselves. Fortunately, in the 21st century, managing financial health of our business is easier than algebra. First things first, I'll introduce my product, then we'll dive into finance management. My product is On Cloud Nine, where imagination meets words. It's a book, and I wrote it. It's a set of nine short stories which I self published. Let's see how I manage sales and expenses. There are many business accounting apps available. But today we're going to be using simple accounting bookkeeping. You can download the app from Google Play Store. This is the landing page of the app. Here is a quick recap of where to find those terms you learned this week. Those highlighted in yellow are the ones we're going to add transactions to. One tiny tip from my side, default currency is set to dollars. You have to go to settings and change it to INR. These are the three important screens. Purchases, like licenses, laptops, sales. Now this is easy, like your product or service, it's sales. Then we have expenses, training, office space, telephone bills, internet, or even used a cab to visit a customer. All that goes here. Since we haven't added any data, the lists are all empty. Let's see the demo of the tool through the journey of my product. I started writing my book when I realized my Microsoft Word subscription ended. Bummer. It costed me 420 rupees. So let's just put that in and save. Please do save all these. Once you place the order, sometimes we pay immediately or you can pay after installation. Once you make the payment, do not forget to add the payment details. I wanted to self-publish the book. I rummaged through my pocket money and had enough to order a few copies. I ordered 15 copies of the book to be printed by the publisher. So let's add those purchase details. It was a payment upfront. I was able to sell the copies, so I placed an order for 10 more a month later. Now, these are all the purchases we've done so far. Microsoft and the two book printing. Similarly, you add expenses. For me, my expenses were simple. First, let's add office supplies, pencils, paper, paid 100 rupees in cash. This will reflect in payments paid. Let's add one more expense and add 100 rupees in credit that is i'm not gonna pay now but later once you make the payment add the payment details 
Now the money we spent is done. Let's earn some money. I set the cost price of the book at 200 rupees. Remember, keep the account up to date. As soon as you receive an order, add the details, date, who placed the order, additional charges, discounts, promotional offers, same as once you receive the payment. This keeps the books clean and gives us a good idea of how our business is going. We can take note of payables and receivables. Here's my first sale. The customer has bought the book but not paid yet. So it would reflect in receivables from customer. Later, I thought about diversifying. Not only printed physical copies, but also ebooks. Amazon ebooks in India sold 64 uh, rupees 35 paise per copy. I received orders from Amazon US too. In US, each copy is 176 rupees. One of the customer had to pay 3600, but paid half the amount. 1,800 and rest to be paid later. This will reflect in receivables again. Dive into the details as to who else needs to pay to us. Here's the customer we saw in the start. Let's say if one of the customer pays us. This reflects in reduced receivables. You can see in before and after. This is how sales list looks at the start of June. On the main dashboard of the app, you can see the summary, the status of revenues, expenses, purchases, payables, and receivables at any point in time. Next, let's look at some reports. You need to know at any point whether your business is making money or losing money. To know this, you can generate a profit and loss report. A profit and loss statement is a financial statement that shows the business's revenue and expenses during a period of time, say a month, quarter, or year. The profit and loss statement shows whether you're making profit or loss, to be put in simpler terms. A cash flow statement tells you how much cash is entering and how much is leaving your business. It tells you how much you have on hand at any point of time. This makes sure you have enough cash to keep operating your business. The cash flow statement is affected by late paying customers. If someone doesn't pay on time, you'll have less cash on hand during that time period. A balance sheet helps you understand exactly how much your company is worth. It offers a snapshot of what your business owns, assets, and what it owes to others, liabilities. The Simple Accounting Bookkeeping app helps you to record all your transactions, such as sales, purchases, payments, expenses, taxes, etc in an extremely simple manner. App contains an easy to use dashboard, which features sales, purchases, payments received and paid, expenses, profits, payables, receivables, balances, all of it. I can also track whether my business is in profit or in loss, whether I have sufficient money to run my business or not. This brings a lot of transparency and clarity to my business operations. As I mentioned earlier, I used a tool called Simple Accounting Bookkeeping by Tactile Systems. It is a free app that can be downloaded and used in your Android phones. I wish you all green balance sheets. That's the wow. <laughs> Thank you, Megana. That was really awesome. Awesome demo. Of, uh, you made it uh, appear so simple. Business accounting is not so complex after all. 
if you use the mobile app that Meghna showed, uh, it becomes like just a cakewalk for anybody. If, even if you don't understand many of those terms, you just have to blindly input the data, like your uh, uh, sales data, purchases and expenses, and boom, you generate all the reports. It, or the tool automatically, the app automatically generates all the reports for you, and you can see whether you're making money, losing money, whether you have money in your bank or not. You know uh, the status of assets and liabilities, everything. Uh, that makes it so simple. Okay, thank you, Megna. Do stay back. We'll come back to you for one or two questions later on. So moving on, uh, the uh, I, as I mentioned to you earlier, uh, in this week we wanted to uh, bring you uh, both uh, aspects of business finance as well as some aspects of the marketing campaign, which we could not cover in last week's session. So we have Shima and Paulasia uh, ready to showcase um, something about marketing campaign. So Shima is going to uh, run you through um, a few campaign games. Basically, I would say she's going to show you how to create or how to make use of a spin wheel game uh, in order to attract customers, entice customers, and maybe you can give them some free prizes when they win, uh, when they spin the wheel and they get some prize. You, uh, she actually gives some prizes away, free freebies or uh, free prizes to uh, people, and those people really get attracted to it. Maybe some of those prizes could be some discount coupons, uh, which uh, can be used to buy her product, for example, or it could be something else as well. Uh, so let uh, I'll, I'll allow Shima to speak further on this. Uh, Shima, if you can take over and show us. How to have your view spin wheel to uh, run your marketing campaign? That would be wonderful. Thank you, sir. Hello, everyone. This is Sheikh Shima Farheen from Class Eight of Nagarjuna Model School, Kadapa, Andhra Pradesh. Now I'll show you the spin wheel game and how the customers will get access to our spin wheel. Before that, let me give you a little bit introduction about our product, Ekalavya. We have observed that many of the students would usually face problems in understanding max concepts. So, we have come up with the solution of Ekalavya. Ekalavya is a one-stop shop for you to learn and understand max concepts in a fun and engaging way. You can go through the concepts in whichever way you want, like ebooks, animated videos, augmented reality, virtual reality, and many more. You can access it from anywhere and any device. Now, let me share my screen and show you how the customers will get access to the spin wheel before I show you the spin wheel. Is my screen visible? Uh, yes, Shima. Yeah. So, this is the social media poster where we will be sharing this poster and the users can scan the QR code and play the spin wheel. Here in the social media poster, we have a logo of our business, a brand name and a tagline. Then we have a QR code where the users can scan the QR code and spin the wheel to win a lot of prizes. Then we have provided contact details. Now let me share my screen through mobile and show you by scanning through the QR code. And yeah, is my screen visible from mobile now? Uh, yes, Shima. Okay, so you can scan the QR code either from Google Lens or through QR code reader. Now I'll show you by scanning through Google Lens. For that, go to Google and in the Google Lens, search with your camera. Yeah, I'm scanning the QR code and it takes me to, it gives a link to visit Spinwheel. If I click on that link, it takes me to the spin wheel. Here at first, it asks us to enter some basic information. Like your first name, you need to enter all this information. Then your last name, your email address. And then here, if you want to receive news and updates from B, like click yes. It is mandatory to click yes here because you are accepting the terms and conditions of B, like and then click on submit. After submitting, we'll get the home page of a spin wheel. Here we have a few segments, which are lucky and as well as unlucky. The lucky segments are 30% off only book, 
a free t-shirt and a free book to download let's spin the wheel by clicking the point here and the wheel is spinning oops we got unlucky okay no problem I have already opened few tabs of lucky prizes in my laptop. I will show you the prizes by sharing my screen through laptop. As this is a game, sometimes you will be getting lucky and sometimes you will be getting unlucky. But you should not get panic. I hope my screen is visible now. Yes, Seema. Yes, so, here one of the prizes which we are offering to the customers is 30% off an ebook. It says, congrats, you have won a great prize. Let's click on continue and claim our prize, which is a 30% off an ebook. It says 30% off an ebook, apply coupon code. This is the coupon code by which we can apply and get the 30% off. Let's copy the coupon code and we'll visit the online store by clicking the button here. If you click this button, it takes us to online store which is Bikai and here we have right now we have two products which are two ebooks which is basic comparison basic operations and comparison now let's click on plus symbol and add add a product to the cart after that click on checkout observe the items carefully after uh, observe the prices carefully here the total price of the item is 50 rupees Let's apply the coupon code and see how much it reduces. For paste the coupon code and then click on apply. If you observe carefully, the total price of item is 50 rupees. After applying the coupon code, 15 rupees has been reduced because we are offering 30% of an ebook. And now the total cost of an ebook is 35 rupees. This is how the coupon code can be applied in order to buy the ebook. After, after that, users can click on purchase and order the ebook. This is one of the prizes which we are offering to our customers as part of Spin Wheel game. Now, let's look at another exciting prize, which is a free ebook to download. It says, Congrats, you have won a great prize. Let's click on continue to claim our prize, which is a free ebook to download. It says, The ebook is free. Let's click on get the ebook. To read what is there in the ebook are you all excited of what the ebook contains yeah this is the ebook it is actually created in canva here we have a logo of our business a brand name and a tagline which is a kalavya learn with fun are you facing problems in understanding max concepts a kalavya remove all your headaches of max and learn with fun these are the few max concepts which we are telling to the customers so that even the customers should get some idea of what kind of products or what kind of co concepts are we offering to our customers. By this event, the customers will also feel that we are, a, we are giving a pictorial representations as we are also giving the photos and giving a clear in information. Now let's, students can visualize in any way in the form of interesting videos, animation videos, virtual reality, augmented reality, and 3D models. They can choose any format they like, like in the form of ebooks, web portals, and even mobile app. They can access it from anywhere on any device, like a smartphone, tablet, laptop, iPad, computer, and many more. Students can learn in a fun and engaging way. Ekalavya is also giving access to test their knowledge through interesting quizzes of their learning. Here we have provided a link to visit online store. Here the users can visit online store and can buy the ebooks. Then at last we have provided the contact details like email ID and a mobile number so that if the customers have any queries or doubts they can mail us or call us with the contact details which we provided. And you know we are offering one more another price which is a t-shirt merchandise after my demo policia will be showcasing uh, all the merchandises his demo is mainly on merchandises so you will get to know about merchandises from there okay let Excellent. me 
thank you yeah. shima that was really wonderful used... uh, yeah, go ahead complete here yes sir so and do you know one thing the name and email which we collect as part of spin wheel will help us to create a list of prospective customers who would be interested in buying our product we can reach out to them through email marketing by sending our marketing flyers and asking them to visit online stores i used a tool called be liked to create a spin wheel it's an interesting tool to create lot of interactive games i even used canva to create a marketing ebook and even the social media poster i used bikai a mobile app to create an online store and remember one thing you can use be like for free for only 14 days but don't worry as this is a marketing week you can create lot of interesting games and market your product in a fun way yes sir wonderful wonderful thank you shima that was really uh, very nice to see how you have used uh, various things like a poster uh, with an embedded qr code and you scan the qr code and it opens a spin wheel and you spin the wheel and there are multiple prizes to be won there and uh, you give discount coupon of 30% on your uh, digital product which people can buy from your online store or another prize they can get is an ebook the ebook is again uh, teaches something about mathematics concepts but again entices the customer to come back and buy more stuff from your online store so you have integrated all these things in a very nice way and you are running this campaign where customers play the game they get some freebies and then they get um, attracted to your products and they buy your product ultimately you are increasing your business so that's a nice way to uh, run your campaign uh, amazing uh, but let's uh, move on to the next demo uh, by paulus ch chakraborty uh, he is going to show us how you can make the marketing campaign even better using something called as a merchandise or merch he is going to show you some t-shirts and uh, coffee mug water bottle but it's going to be uh, really fun to uh, see the, the next demo as well so i'll let me hand over to paulostia uh, paulostia if you can show our audience uh, some of the merchandise that you have created during your campaign that'll be uh, fantastic yes sir good evening everyone i'm paul with chakraborty student of class 9 tell five class to the five rivers thank god Today I'm here to show you how to run your marketing campaign using free merchandises. So what is free merchandise? Sometimes you must have come across popular brands like Boost, Blue Gold Coffee, and other brands giving away free merchant uh, free items like T-shirt, coffee mug, spoon, and other items in free with their company's name on it. So these are called free merchandises. Last year, I have attended bootcamp, and I have created an online venture business that provides mainly virtual tours to customers. There, I have run a marketing campaign for a few days and gave away lots of merchandises to many people. So let me show you a quick demo of those merchandises that I have created. Let me share my screen at first. Hope you can see my screen. Uh, yes, yeah, we can see this. Uh, okay. This uh, this is the marketing camping demo, and this is the polyester cap that I have designed, and you can see the logo of my brand in the front, and in the back side you can see my brand name with the tagline best travel experience and this is another merchandise called uh, polyester t-shirt and this is the uh, this is the brand logo and in the back side you can also see the brand name travel and a popular quote that is quite relatable to my business and in the next you can see the coffee mug here and lastly you can see the suction mug that you may have seen that boot that boost used to give 
and you can see my uh, all the things there like brand name logo tagline etc and now through this poster through this uh, flyer poster i have shared i have shared the information of the of my of my merchandise merchandises to many people through this poster only so this is uh, you can there you can see my lo uh, business logo brand name brand tagline and then you can see i have embedded the qr code here and lastly the code to play the scratch card game where one can win the free merchandise so if anyone scan this qr code and give this and put this code in this page you can see here in this page and click on i'm not a robot and click on preview they can uh, they can they will they will show this page if they click on submit menu they will get this option and this page there you have to uh, fill up your first name then the last name then your email address and don't forget to click all this as a next submit it after that you will get this land page here you, here you have to scratch your card and you will get the uh, the merchandise and free prizes here here is the view of its uh, scratching and lastly you will get you will receive the merchandise and price you can see here many congress you won't and if you click on continue this page will open and you, and through the finish button you will be dragged to the page of my merchandise here you can see that i have the i have won the polyester cap and now let me show you how you can create your free merchandise uh, using a free tool called your design store.in so you can see that this is the this is the home page of just design store.in if you go on the option that is product you will see many uh, drop down options there like apparel jackets pullover accessories stationeries and many more so i'm going to jackets and pullovers and choosing the pure cotton varsity jacket now it's loading and you can see this uh, this page has opened and you can you can preview this uh, jacket you can also choose your brand you can also choose your color like i'm choosing navy blue as you have as you may have seen or not i have dinked all my merchandise with blue only this is to uh, this is to help the customers to recognize my brand and and business easily also select the size of it i'm choosing l size and then i'm clicking on customize so here you will get another option that is do you want to embroider this product uh, click on yes if you want to embroider or stitch in this product and then start designing from front uh, front left now if we uh, at first we will add our and a brand image and if uh, through clicking this image you will see an option that is called upload image and if you click you will get uh, you will get to upload the image like you uh, we are just pasting our brand logo here and you can see the brand logo here and just uh, minimize and just uh, small it that, um, so that it, uh, it is looks like the logo Uh, something error has happened second here you can see it one second so yeah it's the uh, that's all here and uh, we can go to the front right option and you can also left it out and now we'll go to the front back of back option here we'll put our uh, put our brand name here like i'm putting my brand name that is traffic and now i'm choosing the font size 
and now the color that is cold which will be suitable for your business and now font style and lastly the font type and you can see that i have successfully added it and this is the this you can see here my band name here and then we can um, also do some clip parts like i'm choosing the course option and i'm choosing this which is quite relatable to my business that is if you never go you'll never know and then well you can also de design your right uh, right arm and left arm but we will leave this out because it can then s seems like to be a mess and now we'll tr i'm trying to try to such a degree option You can see it's loading, and here our varsity jacket, this is Judy. And here's you can see everything here. So that's all that I have to say here, and uh, you will find many more things about this option and about this merchandise. You will get to uh, get to learn many things in the internet. So that's all I am I am here to speak. Uh, and also one thing to say that I have created uh, this uh, this merchandises from eodesignstore.in that I've earlier mentioned and also I have designed this uh, flying or post flyer poster through Canva. So now I'm unsharing my screen. So over to you sir. So you are on mute. Yes, sir. Okay, hey, sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I think my voice is echoing. Okay, fantastic. Okay, that was really amazing to see the uh, merchandise demos uh, that were showcased by Paulus. Yeah, you saw a cap, a t shirt, a coffee mug, and a, and a water bottle and things like that. And he also showed you how to create uh, or customize your own uh, merchandise. So many companies, what they do is they uh, design this merchandise or they customize the merchandise. They can even on this uh, tool called your design store dot in, you can not only uh, design and customize your merchandise, but you can also place an order with them. If you place an order, they actually uh, get the t-shirt stitched or they can get the coffee mug uh, printed with your logo, your brand name and everything, and they can ship it to your address. So you, if you are running a business and if you want to give away free merchandise to your uh, uh, customers during a campaign, you can actually order for some copies of these merchandise. But of course, it costs you money. Uh, but in this bootcamp, we just want you to design it. But in case you really want to pursue it, you can actually pay money and really get a coffee mug with printed with your brand name and things like that. And you can give it away to people. So merchandise can be used in different ways. You can even sell the merchandise if you want to with your brand name and logo. And wherever people are wearing the T-shirt, they are actually marketing your product or marketing your brand or marketing your business. So you uh, get to um, promote your product in so many different ways. So that was really amazing. Um, of course, we are running out of time. We have just about two minutes to go. Uh, what I'll do is uh, I wanted to ask a few questions to our, uh, our three entrepreneurs. Let me uh, ask um, maybe uh, two questions to each of them in the interest of time. Let me start with Meghana. Uh, Meghana, if you're ready, I want to ask you, what was the key motivating factor for you to uh, make use of a mobile app uh, to manage your business account? Uh, finance management was alien to me. I mean, I get meager pocket money, which I sometimes use in the school canteen. I never even have to check the change. Once my short stories were finished, I wanted to check if it had market value. Personally, I like holding a book in my hand, the smell of a new book. I was inclined towards self-publishing. I saved up around 4,500 of my pocket money over time and used all for publishing and tends to see if it was going to make some profit. I use the simple accounting bookkeeping app to track each sale of the book. I felt responsibility to see this venture profitable. There's much at stake money. It's been a year 
the financial health of my first business encouraged me to write my second book, Shears, a novella. Wow, <laughs> that's really amazing. And good to know how this business accounting has helped you uh, manage your uh, business finances. Uh, fantastic, Meghna. Uh, let me move on to the next question uh, for uh, Shima. Uh, Shima, what was the inspiration for you to make use of a spin wheel uh, to uh, run your marketing campaign? Uh, did you look at any other options and why did you choose spin wheel? Yes, sir. Usually, I play games created by others. Sometimes, uh, I'm only I have a dedication to uh, create work. something like a game which helps someone in some aspect. With the dedication and after joining Kingapunia Boot Camp, I was able to create something like a game which is a spin wheel game which helps us in order to market our product digitally. Excellent, excellent. Nice to know that. Yeah. So definitely uh, creating the games is really a creative activity. Uh, uh, so you would definitely enjoy creating those games. But at the same time, for people who play the game, that is also a lot of fun. So you basically what you're doing is through these fun games, you're enticing and attracting more customers to your business, isn't it? So, so that is what a marketing campaign does. It brings a lot of fun and uh, engagement with your customers. So do make use of uh, games like these to uh, bring more customers to your business. So uh, great to know that, Shima. And let me ask the next question to Paul Astia. So Paul Astia, you created this marketing merchandise. Uh, again, what was uh, what made you come up uh, with this idea of using marketing merchandise, and how did it help you with your business? Yes, yes. <laughs> the key motivation for me was to promote my business and products in a very simple way using this power. Uh, while other were busy with animation flyers and brochures, posters, I wanted to come up with another unique and interesting way to promote my products. Merchandise, though very ingenious or simple, is able to cover good thought or expression about my business and attract more customers with a single word. Wonderful, wonderful. That's great to know, Paulus. Yeah. Uh, so let me do one thing. I have one last question for each of you. Uh, let's start with Megana again. Uh, Megana, would you like to share some tips and suggestions for our budding thinkerpreneurs as they start with the business finance this week and how should they go about managing their business account and any other tips and suggestions that you would like to offer them? Why do we start a business? To share our creation with the world because we're interested in that field or to solve a societal problem? But for any of these to happen, we need a successfully running business, one that makes money. Give as much importance you give to product development to finance. I'll share my personal experience. I love writing stories. And I have a collection of 20 stories that I've written over years. But I chose to publish only nine of them. Why? Keeping in mind the publishing costs, the value customers are willing to pay to a book like this. Pricing and feature packing of your product will also have an impact on finance. Wonderful. Nice to know that, Mekana. And uh, Shima, what about you? What are your tips and suggestions for budding think up in your? Uh, especially on the marketing campaign, spin wheel. Would you like to share some message for us, our think up in your? Sure, sir. Marketing is the crucial aspect of, of running a business. Without marketing, no, if come, no, yeah. But then you need to attract more customers so that the customers can pay attention to your product. One of the good ways to market your product well is to engage your customers in games. You can create a lot of interesting games in which helps you to market your product well 
and even offer lot of interesting prizes such as coupon codes which gives a uh, offer to your ebooks or web portals or something or you can even provide some free merchandises so that even the customers would feel happy and can buy your product that's my suggestion to you thank you shima uh, really uh, great insight and polosia uh, before we wrap up what are your uh, thoughts what are your tips and suggestions for budding think of india Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the, the key motivation for me, uh, and the uh, I mean the key. Um, I mean, I suggest uh, the main thing to uh, budding thinker beginners is that don't try to always uh, jump over this, jump over the uh, convention method only. Try to um, try to get uh, try to give the merchandise and marketing to a new height. Um, so that uh, not necessarily you can create merchandise or poster or flyers trick marketing to a new height and promote your business further in future uh, internet based online tools are available for you always also make sure you don't mess up with this merchandise keep your merchandise as simple as you can so that it can attract and so that it can attract more customers in flock keep all the colors of merchandise and text as well as the same so that so that the customers can easily recognize your product and buy it very simply so make it simple as it and let the creative juices flowing wonderful well said yeah let your creative juices flowing and keep it simple uh, amazing yeah so thank you again thank you polastia um, shima and megna for taking your time out and showcasing uh valuable demos and for sharing your experiences with all our budding thinker entrepreneurs today uh so uh thank you uh, very much and uh, we will be back again next tuesday um uh, with three more thinker entrepreneurs who will be talking about um business operations and networking and things like that um so we have come to the end of today's session let me hand over uh, uh back to prateek uh pati uh, you can take over so thanks a lot sir for uh, an engaging session and thank you shima uh, megna and polastia really wonderful achievements especially for the children of your age and uh, we also feel really inspired looking at what all achievements you are doing and we feel uh, proud that okay what we are doing has is getting impacted and you are uh, creating some uh, amazing things thanks a lot for uh, taking out time for today's session uh, thank you sir thank you three of you and i hope the students uh, learned few tricks for their projects and hope that they can apply the same uh, level of uh, uh, technicalities that these students have used into their projects and we get some amazing entries this year also uh, thank you for joining and we will see you again soon for the next session okay bye bye thank you, thank you. Okay. Thank you am